Days of Our Lives Spoilers for Tuesday, August 13. Tensions rise as Brady's efforts to reconcile the shattered pieces of his chaotic life take a darker turn. It seems Brady has accepted Tate's excuse for staying in Salem without much supervision, after all, he's worried about his son's safety and the troublesome prisoner, Teresa. But what is Tate really up to? Is his story as innocent as it seems, or is there a darker motive lurking beneath the surface? Meanwhile, Maggie, in her typical fashion, has let Holly slip out of her grasp. Holly, who is not as innocent as she appears, seems to be plotting something, and Maggie may come to regret not keeping a closer eye on her. As Maggie gets distracted, Holly and Tate are free to seize the moment and make the most of their newfound freedom. These teenagers are well aware that these unsupervised moments of liberty may be fleeting, and they are determined to make every second count. But what should have been harmless fun turns scandalous when Sophia plants a seed of doubt in Holly's mind. Why haven't she and Tate crossed that line into a more intimate relationship? Sophia's offhand comment is not just a casual remark, it's a challenge. Now, Holly is contemplating whether she should take things to the next level, if only to prove something to herself, or maybe, to spite Sophia. The complexities of teenage friendship and rivalry become apparent as Holly considers making a bold move, with Sophia eagerly watching from the sidelines. Will Holly act on her impulse, or will she realize that Sophia's words are a trap meant to stir up trouble? Meanwhile, the mysterious woman who shattered Chad's life continues to consume his every thought. He believes that the woman he and Jack encountered, who claims to remember nothing about herself, is none other than his supposedly deceased wife, Abigail. Logic dictates that a DNA test could quickly clear up the confusion, but Chad, driven by a potent mix of desperation and hope, chooses a different path. Instead of seeking concrete proof, he relentlessly pursues the woman, hoping to jog her memory through sheer force of will. Every moment with her is an emotional roller coaster for Chad as he swings between hope and despair. He's determined to make her remember their life together, even gifting her a bracelet that belonged to Abigail, hoping it might trigger memories, feelings, anything to confirm his belief. But what if his insistence pushes her further away? What if this woman isn't Abigail after all? As the day unfolds, the drama in Salem reaches a climax when Brady's evening takes a dangerous and sudden turn. He finds himself drinking with Fiona, an unexpected companion who is about to bring a world of trouble. Across town, Sarah and Xander are reveling in the joys of their second marriage, determined to celebrate their love with abandon. They toast to their future, to baby Victoria, to the memory of the late Victor, and seemingly to everything and anything that crosses their minds. But as both parties drink the night away, fate takes a devastating turn. A night meant for celebration quickly turns to horror as these two couples' paths tragically collide. Brady, lost in his drunkenness, makes the fateful decision to let Fiona take the wheel. With Fiona also drunk, their car hurtles through the streets of Salem, heading toward a deadly crash that will leave lives shattered and futures uncertain. Will Sarah and Xander's love story be tragically cut short, or will they emerge from the wreckage stronger than ever? And what about Brady? Will he finally confront the demons that have driven him to this dark place, or will he spiral further into despair?